Well, hello. Welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist. I'm joined with Hubby. Hubcap. And we're having a wonderful snowy day. Yay! Today we're going to work on the hair. We've gotten about 30 inches of snow, so I'm extremely happy. Hey, Andrea Blue. Kathy. Let's see here. Who else we got? Mel. Gila. Marlies. Greg, Leisha, I remembered, Shirley. Alrighty, so we are going to start, blue. hmm? Blue. I got blue. Oh. Got blue at the beginning. So I, I'm going to start here at the top. So let me pop up the hair on the top. And actually, wow. while, <laughs> while we're looking at this real quick, we, really it, we, it is. So you can see we've got a wave here. And so with wave. a lot... A wave. Like a wave. <laughs> like a wave. <laughs> so where it meets the forehead, it's turned down, so we have it a little bit darker. And then we got our highlights up in the hair here. And they wave into some darks and then some lights and some darks. And those darks and lights and where they hit are what give us the shape of the hair, so we need to pay attention to that. Um, there's no light hitting grandma's hair right here at her part because this part's pulled back and we will get to that so this is dark we have a bunch of loose hair kind of flyaways but we're not going to worry about those right now those can always be um, scratched in with a knife they're really fine so trying to burn around them is a pain so we'll, we won't pay attention to those right now and yep let's get going yeah. did you say hi to Shirley I did say hi to Shirley. But uh, Cindy Van Nostra. I have not said hi to Cindy up, yet. So. But I will. Hi, Cindy. We haven't seen Burl yet, have we? No, not yet. She'll get here. She'll, She'll probably sleep here. Yet. She gets here. All right, so let's get us in there. And the color of the wood will change because of how the light is hitting it. There we go. I'm probably going to have to actually shift. So let's make sure. I got the shift. I have the base burning of grandma's face in, but it's not anywhere where it's going to be. I just needed to, once a hair goes in, then it's easier to adjust. So I'm going to use my 18S, there we go, set on two and a half, and that may be a little too dark, which you'll see. Actually, that could be a little too, we're gonna bump it down to two. Because we can always go darker, harder to go lighter. And see the wave goes in this direction first and then it cuts over this way. So we want to go in the direction of the wave. And I'm using the edge. I know it's hard to see, but I'm using the edge of the pen to get some of the softer hairs. But going over it multiple times so we don't have a single hair because we don't see a single hair and right here we have our darkest i'm going to need to pull this reference just so i can see closer there we go sorry about that i know i'm just falling all over the place aren't i come on grandma work with me yeah here you are Ugh, i am hot i put the heater back on for you so you need to turn it off uh, yeah, I put it on low, but it's still too much. Is that the moral of the story here? Yes. Turn off the heater. You shall freeze. I'm hot. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to, I'm curling the stroke this way very quickly and using the edge. And I'm overlapping these strokes to kind of blend them together. That way we don't have single hairs, but groups of hair. But we can tell by the texture that it's hair. A little bit of dark in here. It's always easier for me to see on my monitor, but I can't have the photo up while we're live streaming. So just tapping and moving quickly. Uh, go who is here. Hello, go who. Go, go hoka. Go hoka. Spegoka. 
So just overlapping it, going back over the strokes to feather it and blend it out. Go ahead and say that. I love how this portrait is going along. Oh, thank you. So right here, we have a darker streak. So I'm going to go ahead, follow in the shape, bring it down so I don't lose it. It's a little thicker, so let's make it a little thicker. We're following the shape of the hair. And if it looks too stark, you can always go back, blend it out. So this is on two for basswood. On birch, I would go probably two and a half because it does require a little bit more heat than basswood to get the same tone. And where I want kind of thicker, I'm just gonna use, I'm just using the tip and I'm still doing half C's and dragging down. That softens it up. And I have a line right here where her hair, a group of hair stops. Though it, it, it doesn't completely stop because we have little fuzzy baby hairs right here. But right now I don't want to worry about those. Wanda, here it is here. Hey, Rhonda. Wanda, sorry. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. I was confused. Sorry. And then we got another dark one. Let's make sure we get it. Remember... Depending on how fast I move my tip, it'll be lighter or darker. And now we're starting to curve with the wave. So we went into the wave, now we're curving out of the wave. And the reason I'm going with this direction, with my tip instead of going up this way is wherever my tip first touches that's where my dark is going to be for that heat setting and since I have more dark here because of the wave Stephen Bench is here hey Stephen yeah, Stephen says hello everybody <laughs> yeah I almost didn't do the live because I just wanted to sit and watch the snow but I know we need to get this done. Well, it was very kind of you to do that. I know. And this is lighter, so I'm going to move very quickly. And right now it's going to look darker because there's no burning around it. But as I put more hair in, it will lighten up. So don't stress about it. Deep breath. You got it. So I'm just going back and forth between my edge, which you can't see on camera how it's hitting the wood. And that sometimes it's frustrating. Let's see here. A little dark right here. It's funny because I'm watching you and you have the reference part up. This is just the top of your grandma's head. Mm -hmm. And you and your grandma have a very similar part. It was not intentional. <laughs> was not intentional. So just curving around and then some of it we've got lighter hair and this is where we're getting groups of hair not individuals so we're just gonna move quick <coughs> excuse me redrawn wanda says i saw they had some snow in the place where we we're moving to it didn't stick though except in the superstition mountains oh <coughs> yeah because they're moving to DC. yeah mm. That happens. Like, We've got a big storm coming through. We're working on, well, we got two feet. Yeah. We're working on two and a half feet. So. Actually, we're up to 30 inches, so. <coughs> we're getting there. You need to get three feet. Yay, it makes me happy. So now I'm using the tip. Just dragging in the same direction. I'm not looking to digging this out. Uh, we have had some, we've had a wonderful neighbor, neighbor, Brian, across the street, who has a snow blower, and he has been helping 
to clear our sidewalk along with us and the neighbor um, really and her husband passed last year and so we've all been chipping in to help clear her sidewalk and driveway so I, I think it's going to be easier than you think okay so we got a big curl here and the curl is darker underneath I hope you're correct what that it's going to be easier than I think it is and I'll be out there too don't want you to fall again by yourself. Mm. I did fall. I know. That's what I'm saying. Don't but want I, you to do it again. But I fell and I could get up. And he didn't fall with style, apparently, either. Well, I, I don't know. He ended with kind of a pose. <laughs> All right. So let's... You have to turn this just a little bit. We can go ahead and go flat with it going to be late getting my glasses because of the storm. Well, we have shovel too. We have shovels too, Wanda. That's yeah. our neighbor that has a snowblower. Yeah. I will use shovels until I'm not able to use a shovel and then... Because he's being a stubborn butt head. Because it's good exercise. Until you hit your head. That was not part of the program. That was not in the plan. Like, whoop, there you go up. Going to go out and Fall on my back. Hit my head. So now on some of these darker areas, I can go back and forth with just the tip to thicken it up. Always trying to follow the direction of the hair. And when hair is facing us, it's more straight. Right now, I'm just trying to get enough blocked in so I can erase. Just dragging across lightly. This is the lightest part. can always go back in and darken. So it's kind of the tip and the side at the same time. And it, it's so hard to explain that because it's more what you feel in the pen. We can get some graphite off. Let's get some of the graphite off. And it's going to be darkest where it's a light. And what I mean by we have a dark right here and we've got a light right next to it. Same here on both sides. That is the top hair and that underneath is, is hair that's further back and not getting hit by the light so the more you put that in the more realistic it will feel so let's get rid of some graphite and kathy wants to know where we're at flag oh, no, i'm sorry no one wants to know where we're at flagstaff arizona up on a mountain yep. seven thousand feet elevation kathy says it's just good to snow and get it done do i she says, get a snowblower and get it done. <laughs> no. Excuse me, he has to be stubborn. Yep. <sighs> Alrighty, so I'm going to quickly put in that dark that's back here so that it helps shape the curl here. I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to, looking at my photo, this is as dark as the ear and behind the chick the chick <laughs> the chin and the cheek <laughs> these are our darkest areas so i am going to go ahead and bump up a thing to three wanda says we're having up to 83 degrees in central florida <laughs> and steven says in south carolina the only snow he sees is christmas movies on the harlem mark oh. channel no intentionally moved here for the snow it's one of the reasons so at three I'm using more of a flat end of the tip and dragging in the direction of the hair and I have these short lines right here to show me the shape and this will need to go darker but right now we're just laying it in so we don't lose it later Mm. 
darkest is going to be right up against this curl. Drag it out. And go who says Krakow, Poland, south of Poland. We're having lots of snow this year. Love it. You know, when I was, uh, I went up to Poland in 2002, I think, 2001, 2002. Um, because there's a military training area up there, and I forget where that's at, but Poland was really beautiful. Lots of forest. Move to forest. All right. Remember, this is all about shapes. So trying to get the shape right. And then we can drag out for some of the darker ones. And that kind of feathers it. I think it's a little lighter. A little quicker. Alrighty. We got our wave building up. I'm going to go ahead and go down to two and a half. I'm going to move a little quicker. And then I do want to, let's see here, I will skip to another area. That way we can go over, you know, several different kinds of hair instead of just the one area. All right. This is groups. Curved around, it's kind of messy back in here. So I can kind of bounce my pin around. Kind of in different directions. We have a highlight right here. Here going this way. And then we also have a dark coming into it. We were up to 20 in the chat. Yay! What happened? <laughs> uh, what happened? I don't know. We dropped a couple. But that was cool. All right, so we, let's see here, where can we bounce over? Right here, we have a fold in the curve right here in our curl, in our wave. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and keep it at two and a half. And where it changes directions, the base of it is going to be darker. Got to follow the direction of how the hair is curving. So some of the bigger separation of hair I went ahead and laid out. The smaller ones I didn't. And again, still the C, but dragging longer. Here I would turn my board. Yeah, it'll be easier just slightly. Let me on. Curving the, turning the board makes it a lot easier than trying to stand on your head to get these curves. Trust me, it doesn't work. Remember, next to the darks we have some lights, and then it kind of fades off. And again, this is one of the reasons why, if you've never done a portrait or you're new to portraits, I recommend not doing a old portrait first because you're still learning to see the different hair directions and sometimes they're just not clear on some of those grandma's not clear and I recognize that so we have a shadow tuck in over here And all this will go darker. But this is the transition of the wave, so we need to make sure we get that. Now I'm turning on the edge this direction just so I can cut in some of detail. And then the hair switches direction again from the wave and comes down. 
So there'll be a back and forth, back and forth on this as we get grandma's hair in. And the top of her hair is right here, just so it's easier to visualize. Sorry, guys. My ring twisted, so I gotta move it. All right, let's look at where her hair is pulled back. We do have some highlights here, but we see more groups than individual hairs. So we need to pay attention to that. So this all goes back while this comes over. And that's how you know the hair is pulled back, is how it lays in the different directions. Plus, we don't see anything coming down to the back. So I am going to go ahead and bump down to two. And again, I'm still using the same pen. I haven't switched pens. The 18M and the 18S are very versatile in this way. And I actually prefer them over skew. I am not a skew gal. There we go. I just feel like I can get more detail with hair based on using the shaders. So right now when I touch down I'm actually having the tip up just a tad so it's not touching down first and giving me that blob. It's more of touching down with the heel first Oh, who has to go. I go. Thank you for coming. Yep, thank you. So we'll drag in this direction. And then I can put the tip down and feather it out. This way I don't get the blob. Because most of the heat is directed to the very tip of the pen. So if you can shift how you touch down for certain areas, you can mitigate that blob. I know people talk about flying an airplane, and they're not wrong. It's just I don't burn that way, and what I mean is a plane coming in, touching down, and then lifting off. I don't exactly burn that way. They're not wrong. It's just a different way of burning. I can just angle it just a little bit. Let me see if I can figure out a way to show you what I mean. It's always hard trying to show the tip. Alright, so my tip is really angled like this. So right now, this is what the whole tip looks like versus the edge and not the end. And I don't know how well that's coming across. So this is just the edge, but it looks like I'm holding it flat. And I'm not holding the tip down. Tip is the last to touch. The heel touch is then the tip. Heel, tip, heel, tip. And that keeps the blob from happening. The biggest thing I'm burning is finding out, learning your pen and learning your hand and how they like to talk together. It's a dance. So if you can learn, regardless of what burner you're using, if you can learn the dance between you and your pen, it makes things a lot easier. Right now they're dancing together. You and your pen need to be friends. So grandma has a light strip of hair coming down here. That's why I've left it. Um, that will stay that way lighter in order to make it work. All right. So here I'm flat and I'm just trying to fill in. Still touching down more with the back of the pen than the tip. If I touch down with the tip, let me see where I can do it safely. Not mess anything up. Spence is here. Hey Spence. 
he says he's sorry he's late. He was wandering in the woods with Tex and lost track of time. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Nope. Wandering in the woods is never a bad thing. Yeah. Unless... Well, I suppose there are some circumstances that could be a bad thing. <laughs> Alright, so let's fill in this hair here. It comes out of the head. It's a softer hair. So we're going to blend it out. I do need to erase. Get rid of the graphite here. Fine. I dropped my brush, so I have to <laughs> use my hand. Alright. Let's blend this out more. And I do see graphite here. And I will go up against it, but not over it. So now I'm just softening this. We can go back and darken areas. If we can get this soft, going in the right direction. It will feel like Grandma's hair is back. And that's what we're going for when we're burning. We're going for the feeling of what we're seeing. Let's see here. All right. Now where we have the big curve, we get a big, where the hair goes back, we have a big curve. Let's make sure we get it. This is lighter. Light is hitting this part, so the hair is more separated from the highlights. We have our tighter curl here. Get that in there. And again, the hair changes directions. This is flatter or straighter because it's more towards the camera. This is going away from the camera, so we have this curve. And really, I'm just moving quickly here. Let's see here, far down. It all goes this way. Her curl starts right here. Nope. Sometimes it's easy to get lost, but if you do it lightly, you can blend it in and fix it. And sometimes I go back and forth with the edge and the tip. That burns it lighter. And lays it out. Alrighty. Now, let's go. Let's back this out. <laughs> Grandma's head looks weird right now. Remember, the hair frames the face, so mm -hmm. everything's going to be off until we get laid in. Um, let's go to. We'll go to the back. It helps if I figure out. There we go. <laughs> Did we get it yet? No. I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, I know it threw me off. I was seeing my photo right here. Like I had a reference photo pulled up. Alright, so now we got... These aren't exactly curls. They're waves. But they're not as tight of a wave as we had up top. So, flip my photo. This is kind of when I was do, like when I was doing my portrait last year. I had curls and some soft wave. This is where the curl is going in. That's why it's the darkest. 
this is where the curl is coming up and towards you. That's why it's lighter. And then it goes back into darkness where it's coming out of the head and from area, other areas of the uh, gives groups of hair here. So we need to watch where all the highlights are. The highlight tells us that the hair is closer to you this way. When it's darker, it's further away. So just follow that hair pattern. Let's see here. So we have a dark that comes up from the ear. I'm actually going to skip that and come down here to our weave. So again, it's darker and I'm using more of the end of the tip. I'm still at two. This is a lighter dark. So we don't want it too dark. Here it comes down this way. I'm using more of the tip and dragging down. As much as I like the oval stroke when we're doing hair, you're going to be looking at doing more of a drag. The oval stroke's good for skin and shading like that. Whereas the drag stroke works better with fur and hair. Angle this a little bit more. But here we want softer. So the tip and more the base of the pin is what's going to give us that softer look. I got curve here. Normally I put in my darks. I'm not sure why I didn't map the dark out. So there's a dark here. Following the direction. And then we have some, sometimes the hair curls around and becomes uh, less detailed. And we can just shade that in and then go back and add some dark to it. Let's see here, what did I lose? The ears there, this comes down. I'm just trying to map myself out. That's why it's really important to have a good reference. Let's see here, ear here, line goes down here. There we go. Because this part's further out, we need to get the dark in here. Make sure it's following the right direction. And then where it's lighter, I'm using the whole base of the pen. Just blocking that in. Wow. Hmm. We're already at 1135. Are we? Yeah. Oh. I'm trying. So this will be a back and forth. So if you've noticed, I haven't gone over three for any area. Um, Again, you're heat setting? Yeah, I'm a heat setting. Yeah, okay. Let's see here. I can bump up to... See, this area is just as dark as this area, so I'll block that in real quick just so I don't lose it. Now, I did do a test, and I started writing the blog post for it on sanding. I hope to get that up in the next week. I've got a new tablet coming that'll hopefully make things faster because I either spend all day writing and adjusting photos and not getting to burn 
Which is not fun. No. So I'm just waiting for the tablet to get here. Yeah, I show that line. And it was supposed to be here today, but it's down in Phoenix. They can't uh, travel the mountain right now yeah. safely. So I got to no, wait. they cannot. And unfortunately, too many Phoenix people have been coming up. And that makes the roads worse. Um, so Leisha says, um, I learned a lot watching the critique programs. Do you have more of those? I'm, I think she's talking about your old yeah. videos where you do the, the, uh, I have those available to, um, to the members, right? To the members, uh, ten, $10 a note. Yeah. I think, um, Oh, barrel the internet is down. Oh, okay. Yeah, that explains why she's not here. All right. Um, I might look at doing a uh, my big group drawing with fire critique this summer. Uh, for whatever reason, my uh, views drop in the summer, so we'll look at doing that in the summer. Um, I also want to do a big group art show like we did uh, last year, and that'll be between June and August as well. Um, bro, if you're watching later on, Kathy says hi. <laughs> um, I liked doing the critiques until I started having to beg people to, to submit for critique. And then it wasn't fun anymore and that's why I stopped doing it. I do have people asking for it. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Well, I think it's a good, a good idea. I just, I just don't think that we can have them as often because, like you said, there's just not enough people that, yeah. I mean, it, it sounds like it and people get excited about it, but then when it comes down to it, they don't a submit. lot of people don't submit. So yeah. then we end up with not, not so many. So if we have more, then I think we definitely do it. Because those are always interesting. Because I think everybody... They are, and they give me a break. Everybody learns something, you know? Yeah. Let's see here. So do we have any questions about the hair? Did I cover it okay? Did it make sense? Is there something I need to adjust to help you guys um, feel like you're comfortable with it? Again, what you're seeing right now is all just blocking in. Things are going to go darker um, as we go. Burl says hi back. I don't, is she watching? No, I guess if her internet's out, she can't watch. Um, so next week, I'm thinking, <sighs> Grandma is wearing a sweater, but we really don't see too much texture except what's closest to the camera. We have burls, pearls, burls. We have burls, too. We have pearls, and we have a button. I need to know what you guys want to do next week. For the live so that I can work on other areas and I have been filming like where I've been burning all all of this and I need to at least at the very least put a speed video together for the cheeks and the chin um, what do you guys want next week so that I don't touch that area and work on everything else and the delay yep. oh he's on he's on messenger with her okay now we got to delay. Thank you so much, Leisha. But you're a member. Leisha's a member. It was yeah. Leisha the one asking for the critiques? She is. Yep. I think she's a lower member. Pearls. Andrea wants pearls. See, there's so little... It's going to be more about negative burning around them because they really are little and grouped together. So it's more of a negative burn. I'm looking at reference. Let's see here. So it's going to be the sweater that helps shape them. What to do? What to do? 
I just realized Grandma had a has a button on the sweater there too. Hmm. Well, we can do the pearls and and work around the pearls and do the button and some of the sweater around it because we we do have ribbing along the neckline. We have where you can actually see the nipped and rib pattern coming down on the sleeve. Yeah, we can do that. I was waiting to see if there's anything else to do. So Kathy says pearls. Jewelry and button says Greg. Cindy would like to see the pearls because her photo also has them. Andrea pearls. I guess we're doing pearls. Looks like it's pearls. I guess it's pearls. <laughs> and then, yeah, so it'll be pearls and sweater. We'll do the pearls and sweater right here. Um... Do you guys want a live on the background or is that something that you're totally comfortable with on that for your, for yours? Because my background is just a curtain. I would recommend if you have trees or, or a building or whatnot, decide if the background helps lend stuff to your subject or if it takes away. If it's too distracting, it's totally okay to leave out the background or to do a solid background or to do a gradient background without any of the details because a building may take away from your subject. Uh, trees and bushes may take away. It just depends on how it's laid out in your photo. So sometimes as an artist, we have to decide what information helps to project the piece that we want to have out in the world. So with mine, it's just curtains. I had thought about doing a dark background, but um, I don't. I don't think a dark background will work with Grandma in this piece. So I will probably go with loose shading of curtains. I like doing fabric, so draped fabric. It doesn't bother me. It's more of I can turn my brain off and just do it. Yeah. Um. And I don't have a whole lot of background. I cropped Grandma into this piece and allowed to have one eighth of an inch around for a border for probably a mat. It's probably going to end up having a mat. So too much curtain is going to take away from Grandma. Um, so Alicia says thank you for the class today. Oh, you are very welcome. Can we play in the snow? Can I have a snowman yet? I don't know if it's the right kind of snow. He tells me that. Because if it's powder, you just you can't make a snowball. The, remember the little snowfall we had, had like a week ago? That was perfect, but it wasn't enough because it was. I've never got to build a snowman enough because it would have been a filthy Ever. snowman because it would have been just pine needles. I've never ever built a snowman. I've done snow angels, but I've never built a snowman. We have 30 inches sitting out there. I should be able to get a snowman. Oh, it depends on the consistency. I'm just telling you. He always tells me that. That's the truth. Greg likes fabric, too. Alrighty. Did our friend come by? No. Oh, good. They'll be back by later. Alrighty. So if we don't have any further... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a nice comment. Oh, thank you, Shirley. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> I like dirty Santa. <laughs> See, look, they're trying to help me get a snowman. <laughs> if 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 we this is true, Spence. Never enough snow for me. If we spray the yard with water, we'll it'll get freeze ice overnight, and then we can build an igloo. <sighs> Oh, God, I shouldn't have said anything. I've always wanted a snow fort. If you've ever seen the movie Snow Day, my kids love that movie when they were little. I always wanted a snow fort. If we take the neighbor's snow and our snow, we can have a snow fort. Evelyn will give us our snow. Yeah, I'm sure she would. He won't let me do it. See, Wanda built an igloo in Germany doing that. 
when they were stationed over there. <laughs> oh, you're, I thought he was looking something up. All righty. You know what, you know what we're going to say now. Say it with me. And I haven't been able to hear you lately, so say it loud. I don't know if you're doing it. Okay. I'm ready. You ready? You're awesome. Probably you can be able do to this. A Why? Because you're a pyro artist. And tell him in the comments after the replay that one's a snowman. I want a snowman. All right, guys. Happy burning. Bye. I want a snowman. Please, can I have a